D. This is going to be an interesting one. Okay? Don't get thrown. 2t squared minus 14t plus 24. Ugh. Dumb plus sign. Okay. Greatest common factor? No, two. Two. Let's factor that out. Two, and I'm left with t squared minus 14t plus 24. Wait, don't you mean minus... Sorry, oh yeah. Thank you. That's 7, that's 12. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that 2 for the moment. I'm going to put it in after I'm done factoring. What kind of factoring do I do here? Normal. Yes! Normal factoring. Why? Because we have one. Aha! It's a lot easier. You could, here's the thing, you could do magic numbering on this. You could do magic number factoring, it would work, but you'd be doing way too much work. So I'm not going to do it. Okay? So, two factors that do what? Add to negative 7 and multiply to positive 12. Good. Add to negative 7, multiply to positive 12. What are my options? 1 and 12. What else? Three and four, two and six. Which ones are going to work? Three and four. Three and four. <clears throat> what are the signs? Negative, negative and negative. And then I'm going to put that GCF back in front. Don't forget about him. That's it. Boom. Done. It's nice when that happens, right? E. Here's a bit tougher one. 6c squared plus 7cd minus 10d squared. Do I have a GCF? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. So I go to the first step. Do I do, I do magic number factoring? I should ask that as well. Yes. well how do I know? Because no this is not 1. Okay? Alright, let's do it. What's my magic number? 60. Negative 60. Negative 60. 6 times negative 10 is negative 60. 60 has a lot of factors. So we want it to multiply. We want, for step 2, we want two factors that multiply to give us negative 60, add to give us positive 7. So let's look at our options. I've got 1 and 60. What else do I have? 2 and 30. 2 and 30. 15 and... 4 and 15. So divide by 3. We skip that one. Yes. Yep, 3 and 20. 20. What else? 5 and 13. 5 and. Oh, man. 12. 12. This is where those times tables come in handy. <laughs> okay, anything else? Six and ten, yep. Don't forget that. Is it five and twelve? Five and twelve, you think is gonna work? Yeah. How? We gotta mess with the signs here, right? We gotta make sure it multiplies to give me negative sixty and adds to give me positive seven. How do I do that? If I make five negative, will that work? Yeah, yeah. yeah right? Twelve minus five is positive seven, twelve times negative five negative 60. All right, good. We've found our factor pairs. Sweet. Three, do the split. What do I split? Seven. The seven, okay? Into what? Negative five and 12. Good. So I'm going to put the negative five first. Again, it doesn't matter. You could put the positive 12 CD first. The variable that that uh, 7 was attached to is the same variables that we use for the 5 and 12. Okay, So you could write this in reverse order. It would not matter. Minus 10d squared. Everyone with me? Okay. 
Step four. What do we do? Two groups. So I've got uh, 6c squared minus 5cd plus 12cd. How do I make two groups? 6c squared. And? Minus 5cd. Yeah, this guy and these guys. Do I have a plus sign in the middle? Yeah, I do. Good. Okay, so I go to number step five for now. Factor what I can out of each of those groups. What can I factor out of the first pair? C. C. Anything else? No D, no numbers? Nope. No, man, that's not a lot. Oh well. What can I factor out of the second pair? 2D. 2D, positive or negative? Positive. Let's try positive, okay. 2D, and I'm left with what? 6C. 6C minus 5D. 5D. Oh. Have we done everything correct so far? Yeah. How do we know? They're the same. They're the same. Okay. Do you feel like you're getting some stability on your bike now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Six, my last two factors. What do I have? 5D. That's one of them. And the other guy? C plus 2D. C plus 2D. And I'll leave it to you to multiply to check. Mm 